into that. And that's what goes from like four to seven. Ah, timer! <laughs>
um, and just focusing on one thing before I have to go to work and focus on a bajillion different things. So now I'm gonna make some breakfast and some tea because my hands are freezing. Also, Jeannie just texted that it's Halloween time because it's October 1st. Happy Halloween. <laughs> So it's about 10, 20 right now. I don't have to go in until 11. And it's only like a 30 minute walk. The shuttles that usually would take me to work don't run directly the way, the route that I need them to at this time. So I'm just gonna walk. It's a 30 minute walk, but honestly, I kind of make it in like 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and I work at one of the Harvard teaching hospitals. So. Yeah, it's not really far away from me at all. So here's my lab. Um, that's the biosafety cabinet where I pipette things. Sink. There's our lab notebooks. Um, yeah. Computers. Those are the machines. More stuff. The refrigerator for our samples or antibodies actually. Here's where I sit most of the time, the biosafety cabinet. Um, those are the pipettes we use. That's a cooling rack that we're gonna be using soon. Different um, alley pots, uh, more pipette tips, uh, biohazard bag, waste bin, stuff that I'm using today, little vortexer. Here's sprays that we use to clean regularly. Um, here's more stuff. Here's the chemical hood. There's the flammables. Um, and I'm currently incubating some blood samples that we are working on to get RNA and DNA purification. And here's where we keep the blood samples usually because it's 37 degrees Celsius. And also here's another freezer. We have two centrifuges, which are not very big, but you know, it's fine. So the footage for my wet lab days is going to be from very different days because I mostly work really closely with another person in the lab, but I don't want to show their face on camera because that would be weird. So <laughs> my day in the wet lab starts where I turn on my biosafety cabinet and that's where we do all of our blood samples and anything that we don't want to have floating around in the air, we do it underneath this cabinet that's basically has air flowing through it so none of it, no particles can get out. Um, after we retrieve the samples, it's basically just pipetting from 11 to 7 p.m. <laughs> um, a lot of centrifuging, a lot of pipetting. One thing that you learn on this job is patience because there is a lot of setting timers and waiting, incubating and waiting. Writing in lab books while you wait, rereading the procedure while you wait. So, yeah. <laughs> I love my job. Also, I'm super thankful that I get to work at a Harvard teaching hospital. It has been such a great learning experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you liked the video, turn on post notifications because I post kind of inconsistently due to this job that I just showed you. So you can see that I have pretty unpredictable hours when it comes to work. Um, so keep that in mind, but stick around if you enjoy um we're almost to a thousand kind of we're at like 600 something which is crazy thank you so bye